Welcome to ESPN College Football, presented by Five Hour Energy. It's a part of Dick Sporting Goods Kickoff Week. Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor, home of the biggest house in college football, with the winningest program in the game. Here is with their second year head coach, Scott Satterfield. Terrence Upshaw, the first carry of his collegiate career. And a good second effort to get away from a tackler in the backfield. He picks up about six. Willie Henry with the stop up front. Trips to the near side. And to the air, the quick hitch to Malachi Jones, the junior from Roswell, Georgia. But the catch made out of bounds. Series. He's trying to bounce back from an injury. On third down, Bryant to the air. Knocked out of bounds. Broken up by Clark who came up to make the play on McElfish, Jeremy Clark, the sophomore safety. Anything less than me being perfect. And Gardner will work out of the pistol, the receiver screen to the newly minted number one jersey. Now on the back and the front of Devin Funches, A.J. Howard with the tackle. Green in a tailback, and again, they'll set this one up for Northfleet. That receiver screen, good for first down yardage. Close to the 30-yard line. Again, it's Howard, a true freshman, towards the mic. Something new this year with Nussmeyer, and the pass floated to the near side and caught by J.U. Chesson for a first down inside the 15. Michigan, the, the Michigan offensive line does a nice job of picking up the blitz. Justice Hayes is the offset back. Funchess again slotted right. Four-man rush. Gardner looking for Funchess, and he has him. Nine-yard strike to Devin Funchess. Legends like Anthony Carter and Braylon Edwards. And Funchess with a hot start as well. You can see Funchess just runs a double move here. The linebacker should stay underneath. He beats him over the top for a touchdown. Taylor has returned at cornerback. Bennett, another receiver screen and nothing doing as the all Big Ten Defensive back Blake Countess makes the hit on Bethard. And this is a more aggressive defense by Michigan. We've seen blitzes. Now you see the corner come up, Countess. Come up, make a tackle, make a stick. That lets App State know you're not going to get away with throwing these quick passes outside. We've seen a pass deflected on a quick pass. We've seen one out of bounds, and now we see a nice tackle on the screenplay. Five wide on second and long. Play clock under five. Bryant looking left, throwing that way, and the catch for a short gain, just a couple of yards. Press coverage from Michigan this year, and Greg Madison, there's Jabril Peppers, the true freshman, lined up to the near side. Three-man rush, Bryant will try and run for it. Whacked at the 40. Desmond Morgan was the first guy there. there Davian Smith with the tight end Hill in motion. Roll out off the play action. Wide open is Funchess diving over the DB and another first down pickup. They are this year. Much more to come on that, of course, here today. Smith, big hole up the middle across midfield and another first down, 15 yards. Dante Blackman with the tackle. And a number they want to see go way up this season. Smith following his fullback carriage gave him a nice block. And Smith close to the 40. Law and Howard on the stop. Here's Paul Carcaterra. Get it started. But uh, certainly a big day for Mason Cole and that Michigan front line. You know, they'll be under a lot of scrutiny today. Smith, good short yardage run. Get back to Green in the backfield. They'll use him as the Detroit. Gardner stepping up, drops it over the top. Funches at the 10, the 5, fights off a tackle, and Devin scores for the second time with the straight arm. And he 
Williams showing us why. And perhaps, Joey, a big reason is his gardener, uh, his quarterback is a changed man as well. Yeah, and if you're a Michigan fan, you're extremely excited about this. Look at look at the difference in his mechanics. Roll, gets back, he can feel the rush now. Knows where his receivers are going to be, simply steps up and delivers a ball to Funches. And then it's always nice to have the big fella that can stiff arm someone and get into the end zone. Understanding the offense, play action pass, find a soft spot in the zone, stiff arm, get into the end zone. That's what the big fella, that's why he's wearing number one now. for Alabama. Bryant. And a roll out. He drops it over the top. The catch is made at the 30. By Barrett Burns. And another good stop. That was Jabril Peppers coming up. Michigan fans hope to see plenty of that in the coming years. Yeah, you can see, you can hear the crowd give a little extra applause when uh, <laughs> when they announce Peppers' name. Ryan coming in with the blitz. So is Bolden. Bryant gets the pass away incomplete and out of bounds. Malachi Jones was the intended receiver. And App State now 0 for 4 on third down. And again, you see the bump and run by this Michigan defense. It's making it tough on these receivers. Really nowhere to go for Bryant with this football, so take a chance downfield. A lot of confidence in these corners today. We've seen Countess, we've seen Taylor, we've seen Peppers make a play. Every single time they come up and bump a run and stop these receivers, their confidence is growing. Bentley Critcher with his third punt, the former walk-on averaged 46 yards per kick last year. That was one of the best in the country. And now Peppers with an opportunity. Some shaking, some bacon, and he gets out across the 25. 49 yards on the kick, six on the return. Jabril Peppers, the nickel is on. Defending the slot receiver to the left, and it is warmly again gobbling up Bryant. Defensive coordinator Greg Madison loves the depth they have up front. Nine for App State from just outside their 10-yard line. Cameron Bryant had time and then ran out of it. Bear hugged by Taco Charlton, who just shoved the offensive lineman right back towards the quarterback in a loss of eight. And again, it's just holding the ball too long for Bryant. He's not going to have much time in the pocket. They're going to have to do something to either roll him out, get him outside the pocket, and have time to get rid of it, because standing in the pocket will not work for App State here today. You can see the pocket just collapses. That ball has to get out. Can't take a sack on the five-yard line. 14 to nothing. Michigan leading Appalachian State. The give is to Green, and he bumps into the secondary. He's got a blocker downfield. Chesson trying to spring him, and Green caught around the 25 by Trayon Garnett. Nice blocking up front. Nice movement by this offensive line. You could see the App State defense alignment backpedaling. We talked about they've been hard to move today. This time there was no problem getting some movement wide open. And here goes Green in the, op in the open field. We talked about he lost the 20 pounds. You can see he looks faster here. Good blocking downfield by Chesson. Norfleet gets a block downfield. Gardner goes under center. Looking for Funches for the third time. The jump ball. And the big guy brings it down in the back of the end zone. Question, you know, you got to be really excited for what he's done if you're a Michigan fan. Gardner to Funches for the third time. That drive aided by the big run version of the day. Bryant hit as he unleashes it. Incomplete. Willie Henry, who Brady Hoke says has been one of the most improved guys on the team over the summer and into fall camp. 
busted right up the middle. And here we go again. In the pocket, breaks down. Michigan sends another blitz, what they've done a lot of today. And Bryant is just a sitting target. Unless they move this kid around, find a way to get the ball out of his hands a little quicker, not sure how many of these kind of hits he can take. He looked like he fell. Damian Smith, the offset back. He'll take it on the delay. Nice cut back to the middle of the field. Across the 50. Smith trying to give it a go. And gets caught around the 15-yard line. Hauled down at the 12 by Doug Middleton. Another huge run for the Wolverines. You talked about earlier Smith being the downhill runner, a more powerful back. You can tell here he gets in the open field. And uh, no one to thump, no one to run over. Uh, he, he reels off a big one, but just did not have enough gas to get it to the end zone. Breaks the arm tackle there, and he is off to the races. So already in the first half, we've seen Derek Green run for a career-long 59-yarder. And his classmate says, I'll go you a couple yards longer. A career-best 61-yard gallop for number four in the amazing blue, and he bursts into the end zone. Touchdown, Davian Smith. So his first career touchdown, he's now got 99 yards rushing. And that young offensive line not only led the charge, they finished it as well, blocking all the way into the end zone. And Beth, you talked about the maize and blue, but boy, this really looked like the Crimson Tide offense right here. The shotgun handoff to the running back, in between the tackle run, and just a powerful downhill running game. And now watch Callis get downfield offensive lineman. If you're running back, that's the kind of guy you take to dinner right there, getting downfield. <laughs> Hoping he would not have this much work through the first half of play. Deflected up at the line of scrimmage. Wolverine is going to try and push it in for six. On the reach for the end zone, touchdown. Extra point is good. 35 to nothing, Michigan. Scoring through the air on the ground and now with the punt block. Had a penalty early in the game on jumping over. This time they just go around the wall, get a piece of the ball. Yep. And then just nice play here, nice running. Guys blocking downfield. And I'm with you, it looked like the knee was heading down and somehow he straightened it, had enough athletic ability to get that ball into the end zone. Credit McCray with the tip and then Gideon with the score. Green behind carriage in the eye. They'll try to power it. Green with a nice block from his fullback and again the offensive line. Miller pushing all the way downfield. Green inside the 10 and down to the 5. Carriage started it, Miller kept it going, and Green was on cruise control. And Beth, this big play is a combination of two things. There's great blocking up front, but there's also some missed tackles. You know, there, there are some guys that are in position to make this play. That's a tackle that has to be made by Garnett, and this limits this to a five or six yard gain. He misses that tackle, and then it's off to the races. How about another receiver? Look at Funches down there getting another Joined block on in. That side, up to the top. They'll run it with Smith, spinning and curling at the goal line. And I think they're going to mark him down an inch or two short. He'll go in motion. The give is to Green to finish it off, and he's in for the touchdown. the block of Kyle Callis and he's in to make it 41 to nothing 157 yards on the day for Derek Green 
with runs of 62 and 59 yards. He only had 270 yards all season last year as a freshman and making a statement here along with Davian Smith in the opener. Just underway in the second half and the Wolverines have already run for over 250 yards today. Green off the right side and in. It's all Michigan. Looking like they're gonna go here on fourth down and short in their own territory. The pitch, Upshaw tries to turn it up. He gets hit right at the marker. And it will depend on the spot and the spot looks good. It First down approaching and now across midfield on the run up the middle for nine or 10. That's Marcus Cox. Yards on that play when they found some success. Bryant has his man at the 20. Inside the 10 yard line to Jalen Barber from knee surgery just two weeks ago. He's offset. The keep for Bryant and he's gobbled up by Clark. Yeah, nice play by Frank Clark. Getting the penetration, seen that play before. And this time he this time he smells this one. Gets outside, enough athletic ability to skip the block and get outside to keep Bryant boxed in. Now we set up another third and long. Let's see Bryant get out of the pocket. Michigan's probably gonna bring a blitz up the middle. You can see the linebackers in, in blitz formation. Still without a third down conversion on the day. They have converted a fourth down. Bryant floats that one into the end zone. McElfresh, did he haul it in? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Mountaineers. Wow, what a catch. Fingertips appears to have the foot down, nestles that ball into his belly. And even the Michigan fans gave that one an ooh and an awe when they saw it on the replay. Their new field goal kicker on, and he is true on the PAT. 42 to 7, Mountaineers, they convert a fourth down. And then on the third down pass, tremendous from McElfred. He be next in line. He was the guy that started for them in the bowl game when Gardner was hurt last year. Gardner with that pre-snap read, something that's changed this year. Gets away from the pressure, looking for an outlet. Nice cutback inside the 20 and fighting for first down yardage. Doug Middleton finally wrapped him up. That's Joey, back to you guys. Meanwhile, Michigan trying to pad its lead, and they do. Davian Smith scampers in for six. have scored, they've gone over 100 yards. They each have a run of over 60 today. Smith slithers through the D and scores. Tremendous touchdown grab. Good burst up the middle from Terrence Upshaw. Field of a couple of years ago. Fourth down here for App State. They'll option it right. Cox tried to muscle that one forward across the line. Six of those major bowls now will be played around the New Year's holiday. The pass caught. A sliding grab around the 10. But take that with them as they head back towards the Sun Belt. Cox gets into the end zone for the touchdown, but there is another penalty flag. From the linesman near side, it'll be Defense. offside Michigan. Offside. The they've been able to do have been pretty good. Extra point is good. Taylor Lamb to Marcus Cox right up the middle. A couple of second half TDs here for App State. 
They were perfect in the red zone this afternoon. They are on the move once again. Drake Johnson inside the 10 yard line. Let's take a look at today's sharp performance presented by Polaris. And you can see Devin Gardner here doing something that he didn't do last year. He's letting this offense know who to block, how to protect, and where to go with the football. You can see him step up. He understands his protection now. He understands the rush. And then you see this Alabama formation run it off tackle. Nice blocking downfield by the offensive line to score a touchdown. Only missed on one pass today. It was 13 of 14. Johnson tries to cut it back down to the seven, third down. A delay to Hayes find some room inside the five, burrowing down to the one. You have to kick. <laughs> the, the, crowd, the crowd would like to see one more touchdown here today. Uh, but if you're Coach Hope, you're missing. You, you got you to kick this field goal. Yeah, Hope talking with Shane Morris. Uh, they feel pretty confident and him as the backup as well. Matt Wyle will come on to attack, uh, attempt the kick. 18 yards. And from the right hash, it is good. Over 50 for the Wolverines today. 3.42 to go on this opening Saturday in college football. Final 30 seconds and an impressive start to the new campaign for Michigan. Upshaw is tripped up. As the Wolverines score 52 on the afternoon. Coming. And hand it off for the final play of the day. 52 to 14, the final score, Michigan over App State. Coming up next on ESPN2, it's College Football Scoreboard presented by Honda. For our entire crew, Joey Galloway, I'm Beth Moen. So long from Ann Arbor. Now let's get you back to Adnan in the studio.